Oftentimes, you hear me use the phrase universal transformer and how we use this type of transformer in our own Genetry Solar inverters. So what exactly do we mean by universal transformer? How might this universal transformer benefit you? Well, that's why I'm doing this video here. I'm going to explain the universal transformer, why we use it in our inverters. I'm going to go over some general notes on inverters and what the role of the transformer is inside that inverter. So let's get into it. Well, hey everyone, how's it going? Sean here at Genetry Solar. And before I get into this transformer video, that is all about universal transformers, I would like to direct you to the website, genetrysolar.com. That is where you will find our inverter line assembled right here in the United States. You can also contact me directly, 833-GENETRY, toll free, Monday through Friday, 9 to 4 Eastern Daylight Time. You can also text me at that number. Finally, I would like to direct you to our homesteading channel. That is Genetry Homestead right here on YouTube. So the information here in this video is going to be very generalized. I'm not going to go into a deep dive specifics of anything I will be discussing here. So I encourage you to research the topics such as how do transformers work or how do inverters work? There is a wealth of information from other YouTubers who do a fantastic job of explaining how these work. But for the sake of time, I will be explaining just the very basics of these components and how a universal transformer may benefit you. So before I really explain what a universal transformer actually is, first we need to look at the basics of an inverter. Generally speaking, an inverter converts DC or direct current to AC or alternating current. Now there's probably hundreds if not thousands of types and brands of inverters. We're going to focus on general residential inverters because, well, that's what a Genetry Solar actually is. It's an off-the-grid inverter that converts DC battery to AC house current. Now, if you have a solar or wind off-the-grid setup with batteries, you simply cannot take those batteries and plug them into a television, for example. The television will likely only receive AC power. Now, without getting too far down the rabbit hole, there are in fact several types of AC power, such as split phase and three phase. For the purposes of this video, we're gonna be focusing on North American split phase, which is two 120 volt or thereabout legs, as well as a neutral leg. Now for the television example, the TV I'm using will only accept 120 volts AC power in order for it to operate properly. Again, another rabbit hole. Most standard appliances are designed to work within 10% of 120 volts because the grid is rarely a perfect 120 volts all the time. But the point I'm trying to make here is that in order for the TV to actually work, we need 120 volts AC power. So how do we convert our DC battery power to AC power? Well, that's where the inverter comes in. Now, as I mentioned previously, the inverter is, by definition, a tool used to convert DC to AC. Many inverters have different ways of doing this, but I'll focus on Genetry Solar Inverters for the moment. Genetry Solar Inverters use what we call a mainboard. That mainboard converts DC input power to AC power. The conversion happens before the transformer itself. So a series of high side and low side MOSFETs convert that DC energy into AC energy. It sounds simple at its core, but it's actually a complex process that happens really fast. There's also a lot of other components like capacitors, and resistors but again we're speaking in general here now i mentioned that tv needs 120 volts to operate properly well most off the grid battery banks have a typical voltage range of between 12 and 48 volts nominal i say nominal because it's an average overall 
My battery bank, for example, has a nominal voltage of 52.8 volts, but it can go as high as 58 volts, yet it's still considered to be a 48 volt bank. I know it's a little complicated, but stay with me here. Now converting this 48 volts DC into AC power isn't as simple as converting DC to AC and you're done. 48 volts AC won't exactly do much to power that TV, in fact it might even damage it. So we need a way to step up the AC voltage to match the requirements of the TV. And that's where the transformer comes in. So the transformer is a device that will transfer energy from one circuit to another using electromagnetic induction. In other words, it will step up or step down AC voltage. For our example, this will take the 48 volts converted by our main board and step it up to 120 volts AC. Now there's several types of transformers that exist today. Uh, pros and cons of each. Genetry solar inverters use the toroidal transformer. And as you can see here, they kind of look like a donut. Now we do have two examples here. One is a 6,000 watt Genetry Solar Universal Transformer, which you can see kind of looks like an octopus here with all these different wires coming out of it. The other is a 6,000 watt Power Jack Transformer. Quite a bit of difference here. <laughs> now the basic toroidal has primaries and secondaries. These would be the primaries. These would be the secondaries. And in our case, the primaries are the input and the secondaries are the output. So 48 volts AC in and 120 volts AC out. Now I would like to add that split phase transformers actually have two 120 volt secondaries to give you a total of 240 volts split phase power, but we're focused on this TV in this example. So the toroid has a core and it is wrapped with windings a certain number of times, usually we call those turns, that will then determine the output voltage of the transformer. In general, fewer turns means less voltage and more turns means more voltage. So now that we have stepped up our voltage from 48 volts AC to 120 volts AC, we can power that TV using the transformer. So what's this all have to do with the universal transformer? Well, inverters in general are designed with a certain battery voltage range in mind. As mentioned previously, this is typically between 12 volts and 48 volts. So if you purchase an inverter that is a 24 volt inverter, it will typically only work within that 24 volts nominal range. Say 20 volts uh, as high as 32 volts. But if you decide that you want to move to a 48 volt system, well, unfortunately, you need to purchase a whole new inverter before that will actually work. Now, Genetry Solar Inverters using the Universal Transformer do not have that shortcoming. If you have a 24 volt battery system and you want to step up to 48 volts, you can reconfigure the transformer primary posts, which you can see here in the front. Replace the fans from 24 to 48 volts. Change the software configuration, which does require a warranty void and now you have a 48 volt inverter. The inverter will quite literally see you on your journey through everything, either up or down. Now this also means that as our inverters can support all of the available voltage options, we will never be truly out of stock of a certain voltage inverter as they are configured for a voltage here at the assembly. So how exactly does this universal transformer do this? Well, most transformers have multiple primaries or inputs, as we'll call them, and they're designed to accept a certain voltage which will then step up to a certain voltage. Most of these transformers usually have a pair of primaries, like in this example, but our universal transformer actually has four of these primaries. Each one is a lower voltage than standard, and when they are configured in such a way, they can step up a certain voltage 
to a certain voltage, which is variable. So let me try to explain this a little bit better. So for 24 volts AC to 120 volts AC, two sets of primaries are run in series and two sets of primaries are run in parallel to give us the desired 120 volts output. For a 48 volt AC setup, all four primaries are run in series to get 120 volts at the output. Basically, we can configure the transformer to accept multiple battery voltage ranges and still have that same 120 volts AC out each and every time. This allows you to reconfigure the transformer since the surrounding components also support that very wide voltage range. Now there are some obvious downsides. Because of the complexity of the transformer, it does cost more to manufacture these types of transformers. The transformer also requires additional posts inside the inverter to safely connect to so that it doesn't come into contact with anything else inside the inverter. There's also additional weight involved. Clearly you can see that. And there's more materials required to actually make as there's more obvious primaries here. And lastly, they do require more room in the inverter. However, despite these shortcomings, we feel that the value is there for our customers to be able to change the battery bank voltages without the need to purchase all brand new inverter equipment. In some cases, you might need as many as four or more inverters to sustain your needs, so the cost truly does add up if you decide to change your battery voltage. Now, in the case of our 48 volt customers, uh, well, unfortunately, unless you plan to downgrade or split your system into two 24 volt systems, then, well, this feature doesn't really benefit you at all. But for me, well, I started with 12 volts, uh, bought an inverter, paid for it, moved to 24 volts, having to buy a whole nother inverter at 24 volts. And then I had to make the change again when I moved to 48 volts. A new inverter had to be purchased every single time. If I had a Genetry Solar inverter, well, I would still be rocking that first inverter today. Now, I will disclaim that this does require a warranty void, so you have to physically open up the unit as well as make changes and reconfigure the software, which also requires a voided warranty. Alternatively, you can pay shipping both ways and I can perform this service for free for you and you maintain your current warranty inverter. I might even clean it out a little bit while I'm at it. But consider the cost of shipping compared to the cost of buying a whole new unit. It is a substantial savings. So there you have it. Hopefully I have explained to you well enough in general what our universal transformer is and how it may benefit you. Well, you can purchase one of these units at GenetrySolar.com. Genetry Solar assembles these inverters right here in the United States. We are a small family owned business and we do appreciate your support. If you have any questions, you can let me know at the usual. Thank you very much for watching and take care.